in our walk with the Lord. All of us need to reach a point of surrender. A point where we yield and say, Lord Jesus, my life is in your hands. So have your way, Lord. May your will be done. And Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. This verse, I believe, is talking about complete and total surrender. Surrendering everything that could possibly make you worried. Anything that could possibly fill you with anxiety. You get to a point where you say, Lord Jesus, there are some strongholds that I can't break through my own strength. There are some problems that I can't overcome on my own. And there are some battles that are simply too big for me to fight alone without you, Lord. There are things that I can't deliver myself from or my family. When you come to this realization, this is the point where our cry to the Lord becomes the loudest. Our prayers become more sincere and we are willing to be all in for the Lord. Psalm chapter 63 verse 1 to 8 says, O God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you. In a dry and thirsty land, where there is no water. So I have looked for you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. Because your loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness. And my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you on my bed, I meditate on you in the night watches. Because you have been my help, therefore in the shadow of your wings I will rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand upholds me. Notice the words used by the psalmist. Early will I seek you. Meaning that the Lord will be first in my life. He will be my first priority. And then the Bible says, My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you. There's almost a desperation here. As David says, his soul, the deepest part of him, thirsts for the Lord. He is truly desperate for Jesus. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand upholds me. Again, David made it so very clear that he is desperate to be with God, to be around him to chase after his presence and to follow him. And so I would like to encourage you to have the same attitude today. And now, let us pray. Lord Jesus, I praise your holy name, for you are a God who makes the impossible to become possible. You are a God who takes the pain away. You break down every barrier and you break every chain. I glorify you because of who you are, Lord. The one who never fails. The one with all control and power. 
there is nothing too difficult for you to handle, no problem too great or challenge too big for you to strengthen us to overcome. I pray to you Lord, asking for heavenly and divine strength. Make your strength known to us Father, so that we can testify of your goodness. As a child of God, I decree and declare that this is no time to be weak in my faith and belief. This is no time to be weary in the things of the Lord. I pray that you birth in me a desire, a burning desire to seek you. Take me to a place where I am craving your presence, where I am desperate for you. I pray Lord Jesus that I may get to a place where there will be no more half-hearted prayers in my life. I no longer want to go through a test or a trial and begin to doubt your power at the first sign of trouble. But instead I pray that you may help me to be steadfast and resolute in my faith. I refuse to be consumed by thoughts of fear, anxiety and worry. I pray that I don't become a halfway Christian, a halfway Christian who is lukewarm, but rather I want to be all in for you Lord, devoted, committed, surrendered and yielded to you King Jesus. Create in me a clean heart, willing to serve you, a heart willing to follow close behind you and chase after you Lord. I pray that you may give me a pure and holy passion. Lord may you give me a heart that is patient, so that I may wait upon you Lord, because I know that you will renew my strength. You will allow me to mount up with wings like eagles, and to run and not be weary, and to walk and not faint. Thank you for your grace and mercies which are new every day for me. Your word in Psalm chapter 34 from verse 8 says, O taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. O fear the Lord, you his saints. There is no want to those who fear him. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Your word tells me that you are all that I need. You are enough, Lord, and I am content in your presence. I know that if I seek you, I will not lack any good thing. If I seek first your kingdom, then all of my heart's desires will be granted to me according to your will. I trust you to answer my prayers. Dear Lord, I would like to invite you to invite your presence and your Holy Spirit to dwell within me, to always be around me and to fellowship with me daily. Remove all negative things and strengthen me not to fear or doubt, but instead to trust you and always rely on you. Help me so that the enemy may not discourage me or steal my joy. You are a loving God, full of wisdom, mighty in power and full of kindness. I pray that I may never take your grace for granted. 
I bless your holy name, King Jesus. Your ways are perfect, and I pray that I may crave your presence more and more each day. Help me live today in a way that pleases you, in a way that brings honour to your holy name. I thank you for listening to this prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ I pray. Amen.